What's up, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We are here with Matty O'Neill, hanging out at Lollapalooza. You already played your set today. Yep. How did it go? Where are you playing at today on the on the grounds? Um, I played on Perry stage at 1.30. Uh, yeah. um, it was awesome. I've heard so much about that stage and the history of it that it just like yeah. felt very, like I was honored to play it, you know? For sure. So it went well. It was like beautiful weather. I thought it was going to be 100 degrees and humid here, but yeah. it's like perfect. And always a great crowd too. There's a million kids there out there that just want to party and yep. have fun. And yeah, there was definitely some mosh pits going on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, is it intimidating to play, you know, when you know that there's going to be a big crowd coming out, like, because they just want to be there just in general, not even because of, like, who's playing, but to be like, okay, I, now I have to, like, Win them play up to them, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, um, I think the further I get, it's more intimidating when there's less people. Sure. <laughs> That's, okay. Um, but it's definitely, it's such an eclectic um, lineup and, like, festival that... I feel like a lot of people discovered me for the first time today. Okay. Um, which is cool. You yeah. Know? And that's why I kind of put some popular, you know, <laughs> remixes and stuff in the mix with with my own original music. Cause yeah. I want people to kind of, you know, have some sort of like familiarity if for they're sure. seeing me for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Is there any kind of like stuff that's done on the fly with that? I know obviously there's like it's Lala Plaza. So you're probably yeah. not going to improvise too much. <laughs> But, like, is there any sort of, like, hey, they're feeling it, let's throw this at them and see what happens? Yeah, I mean, I kind of, like, have a, like, a a pool of music, mm -hmm. and I kind of, like, go from there and take it in different directions. Sure. But I play mostly my own music, um, okay. so I use, like, drum pads, mm -hmm. um, so I can kind of improvise with my own stuff. Yeah. Um, so that keeps it interesting for me, too. That's kind of, like... The, the best way that I improvise is kind right. of like switching up my own songs and play them in different ways. Yeah, for sure. So. Uh, speaking of your own songs, you've been releasing music, you've been yep. dropping singles as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about the plans. Is there more new music on the horizon? Things that we yeah. can say yet? Yeah, so my album is coming out September 20th. Okay, pre save it. <laughs> yes. It's probably available yes. now. So. Uh, not quite yet, but. In um, the future, pre-save yes, it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm putting out one more single in August, um, I think on the 16th, and then the full 10-track album comes out in September. So lots yeah. of new music yeah, for on sure. the horizon. Uh, you've basically been dropping like a single a month, essentially, for a little bit there. Yeah. Um, in the like streaming world, are you like, is it harder for artists to kind of go out and be like, okay, we have to keep the feed going? Because like... I yeah. feel like music has become a little bit more disposable in the sense of like two weeks and maybe people have heard it or yeah. it's kind of dead. Or like, you're like, yeah. oh, we missed the window. Yeah. Um, it's definitely interesting. I mean, I I like the whole like singles leading up to an album. I know that's like always been a thing, but yeah. you know, like give people digestible things before you just throw a huge project at them. For sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely, I'm getting better at, um, when I'm in a creative streak, I just kind of run with it as long as I can. You yeah. Know? Um, just you know to stock up music because yeah. when you're on the road, it's hard to make st new stuff and like keeping up with the release schedule and touring is just like right. A you lot. can't really get into the creative space when you're yeah. You can't show fully to show drop to show. in if you're just on the road. Yeah. But yeah. do you ever pick up things like from playing shows though that you're like like say you're improvising with a pad or something like that and you're like oh they really reacted to that. Yes. And you're like, I can put that into a song, like. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I'll test out new songs or whips in my sets sometimes, um, and just, I mean, being on the road is super inspiring creatively in general, because okay. you know you finally get to show people what you've been working on alone in your studio. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're making stuff, do you think about like it's gonna play out at a festival, or like is it? More like, are there songs like, these ones are for me? Hopefully kids will react or people will react to it. They're, uh, that's kind of like what the point of an album is to me too, is like I tried my best not to make the music for a certain environment. Mm -hmm. You know, like some of them I maybe will never play live. But okay. it's just like they're chiller, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but I tried to have like no limitations for myself like this has to be a banger or this has to be this right you know? yeah so that was kind of fun to think about the album in that light 
Nice. So. And to make a more complete kind yeah. of project that's cohesive. Yeah, there's some bangers, thing. there's some chill ones, there's some <laughs> shit to smoke some weed to. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, what does the rest of your touring kind of schedule look like? You're about to go on tour, right? Or you're in the middle um, of... I'm kind of like in the middle of festival season. Mm -hmm. um, I've done some like one-off headline shows, but I have... What's next? <laughs> That's how you know that you've been touring yeah, a lot when yeah, you totally. have to go. What's next? Tour brain. Yeah. Um, I have Secret Dreams, Lost Lands, same same but different. Um, Freaky Deaky, Halloween. So there's still a bunch of festivals left this yes. summer. Yeah. But I'm also doing some dates with Opio this fall, and then I'm gonna do some of my own headline stuff this For fall sure. as well. Yeah. Do you think that the, uh, your crowds are a little different when you're at a more like electronic specific? Because I mean, obviously the Perry stage. Is yeah. EDM focused, but totally. like you are at a festival that has rock bands and has hip hop, and like yeah. when you go to a, a EDM specific festival, is it a little bit of a different feel? Yeah, um, I mean, there's such a spectrum of like vibes with festivals. Yeah, um, I honestly, I really enjoy playing crossover festivals. Like, okay, I did, um, I did Forecastle. It's kind of like a new territory for me too, because I'm, yeah. I'm doing a lot of just electronic specific sure. stuff. Um, but I think it's it's a good challenge to be able to like reach people that you that you don't know like electronic music. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Reel them in. Yeah, exactly. They're just people that are here to hear music in right. general, and and when you see your crowd build, it it becomes its own sort for of separate sure. thing. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, we will make sure to check you out at a festival coming up near yeah. you. So make sure you go see Maddie O'Neill. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the yeah. time to do this. For Thanks sure. Thanks for having me. I think you have to pull one oh, Jacob yeah, block. Yeah, we can't I just forgot. set I it forgot. up and not just pull one from like the bottom row, or like the the second bottom row. One of those. Well, you hey. can't tell me we, which one to pick. All right, grab one. <laughs> we got to see what your. We couldn't just leave it here the whole time and not do oh, okay. it. Okay. Here we go. She's she's gonna be an expert at this. Perfect. Boom. All right. There you go. We could have played Jenga the whole time, but it would have been a mess. Yeah, so, bra brain power is... Yes, absolutely. So thank you so much, Maddie. Yeah, thank you. And keep it locked to Breaking and Entering. We'll have more coverage from Chicago for Lollapalooza. Uh, so stay tuned. Yeah. Bye.